everyone welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching thank you so much for joining me now in today's video I wanted to take a question that I was asked on Quora that's Q-U-O-R-A.com I sometimes go on there and answer astrological questions and also life coaching questions I do that whenever I can sometimes I'm too busy but I try to find the time lately I haven't been able to but I like to try and find time to answer questions on there for free just to help people out because I'm sure Saturn would really uh, love to see you know people doing that and I mean a lot of people do a huge number of people they just answer questions for free out of the goodness of their heart you know it's it's a really wonderful community so if you're not on Quora do go and check it out but this was a question that I thought I'd read the question verbatim and I thought I'd read my answer to it um, because my answer was liked by a couple of people and I thought, yeah, this is a really nice little topic of conversation because I do think part of the job of an astrologer is to promote astrology the benefits of astrology and that it's not some crazy thing and that's exactly what this question is about so I'm going to read the question because I thought the question was brilliant it just leaped out at me and I thought yep I'm definitely answering that one so the question was why isn't astrology an insane path when in search of truth question mark how good a question is that? Why isn't astrology an insane path when in search of truth? And really, I mean, it's a loaded question because it's basically saying, it's acknowledging the fact that a lot of people in society think astrology is an insane path. So many people wrote answers and I'm going to read you mine. So why isn't astrology an insane path when in search of truth? And I said, because of its repetitive nature, the planets move in a very predictable fashion. Here's an example. What's next in the sequence? What's the value of x? 2, 4, 6, 8, x. If you guess 10, you're absolutely right. In fact, you didn't just guess. It could also be said that you predicted the future. And you did so correctly because you knew and understood the preceding pattern. It's not just astrologers who observe repeatable phenomena. There's the golden ratio, the Fibonacci sequence. Hold a pineapple in your hand and look at the repetition there. The flowering of an artichoke, the unfurling tendrils of ferns, etc. That is interesting, the unfurling tendrils of ferns. I must have been feeling in a poetic mood. Oh, I was. Poets. Poets study all these things too. Listen to Blake. To see a world in a grain of sand and heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. How did the ancient rishis, without telescopes, figure out the movement of our neighbouring stars? With pineal glands the size of lemons, they closed their eyes and saw the universe. That might be a bit of creative license there. I'm not 100% sure on that. <laughs> but I have heard, I mean, I've heard that they had pineal glands the size of lemons. I was at uh, a conference by Heidi Sawyer. She's a really brilliant, intuitive, sensitive person, but she is brilliant when it comes to the science of all this kind of thing. And she was saying that, yeah, back then, the pineal glands were huge and, and she was explaining that and as I've gone on to say so with pineal glands the size of lemons they closed their eyes and saw the universe now our pineal glands are the size of peas yeah apparently like just one tiny little pea that's about as big as our pineal gland is machines do all the calculations and absolutely I really rely on my uh, astrological software to do most of the work and then when I am calculating certain things even when I'm calculating like you know, 20 years ago, this person would have been doing this. And I use my calculator even for some of those simple, it's terrible, I know. 
some of those simple, maybe not 20 years, but like 24 or something like that. Like, you know, it's sort of odd numbers. I will use my calculator. It's really bad. But then there are some things that my software doesn't do, like the Brigger Binder point and things like that. I do calculate those by hand. But anyway, back to this. Now our pineal glands are the size of peas. Machines do all the calculations. But I believe we're evolving back to times where our inner gifts will evolve again and have more value than ever before. And things like astrology are going to be taken more seriously too. I do fully believe that. I really do think that we're entering a time where astrology is going to be taken a lot more seriously. And it's going to be, I think, the Rahu type professions. And I count things like astrology and occult and healing and all these kind of things. I count those as Rahu professions. And I think they're going to make a real comeback over the next 20 to 30 years. The reason I say this, one of the big reasons I say this is because the United States is going through Rahu Mahadasha and we're seeing quite a big transition. I mean, according to the chart that I have of the United States, let me just open that very quickly. Actually, let's look at how long I've talked for. Yeah, do you know, I haven't talked way too long. I think <laughs> I think it's okay for me to look up the, um, I'm trying to make shorter videos, guys. Uh Let's have a look here. United States chart. Where is that? Oh, did I not save it? I've got so many charts here. Might not have. Might not have saved it. Uh, oh no, I got it! Yay, good. Uh, let's have a look. Dashes. Because it is a big time of transition for the United States because Rahu Mahadasha began only recently. This is what I'm, I brought the chart up to check that have I got that right? Yeah, okay, Rahu Mahadasha began 2016 and I've heard another famous astrologer on YouTube talk about this that I don't know if they said that Rahu type professions are going to be more prominent now but I the reason I think that is because Culturally, the United States has had a huge impact on the world, has had a huge impact on conditioning the world. Hollywood has definitely had a huge impact. I grew up on Hollywood films. You know, when I was a kid, I watched Dead Poet Society and Big with Tom Hanks. And what else did I watch? I, don't know, I watched all these cool films, you know, and Hollywood, I definitely think, has had... Um, such an influence on definitely on the western world and the western world has been so prominent over the past what two, 200 odd years um, and I still think that America is even though America financially may not be uh, I, was, I want to say as formidable as, as China for example I don't know how how precise I am about that but um, I still think culturally they are very powerful and, and culturally they're still influencing the world a huge amount and I think culturally they are changing and you know I mean California is really influencing all of the states that kind of you know um, Ojai type people who like Krishnamurti and yoga and um, you know, who, who are really influencing things. So I do believe in my own lifetime, I've seen the emergence of yoga. We're seeing, you know, more veganism. We're seeing um, people being interested and open in this kind of thing. And I really think it's the millennials, the wonderful millennials out there. I think nature is giving us... Uh, more sensitive beings and we're going to need them you know in order to care for the planet more and um, I'm really impressed by millennials I think that they have kind of given up on the petro dollar dreams of their parents and you know they're more interested in creating solutions and having experiences and and being in the now so yeah I think the future is bright I think 
things like astrology are going to be taken more seriously. And astrology is wonderful as, as a tool. One of the things that it does is, um, oh, I mean, it does so many things. And I hope to make some little videos explaining. Maybe I'll save some of my other thoughts for other videos. How about that? How about Because I'm looking at the time now and it says about 10 minutes here. So I think I'll be sensible and I'll save my other thoughts. We, we'll keep this video just focused on this topic of um, why isn't astrology an insane path when in search of truth? What a great question. You know, on Quora, there are some amazing people out there and I love, some of the questions are so terrific and I love reading people's answers. There are some amazing people on there who write the most wonderful answers to things and they're prolific you know I, I hardly scratch the surface I might you know write a couple of answers every couple of weeks kind of thing so I'm not hugely active on there but I love it all the same so hopefully I can you know I, I've got to get the machine in my life going so I can uh, produce more content and, and be a bit more out there so one thing at a time <laughs> slowly slowly I'm building up each day all right well thank you so much for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time